claimed they were qualified gardeners, but they did the most horrible job. Excuse me, senora. Then I graduated from university with honors, summa cum laude mower. You're looking at a comedic television series starring Culture Clash, three Chicanos from San Francisco who like to poke fun at everything and everyone. And when they hit town tomorrow night for their South Florida Radio Mambo performance at Gusman Theater, Miami will be the brunt of their jokes. The trio spent a month in South Florida talking to more than 90 people about life in the city. Then they wrote a show around those interviews. Two of the players talked to me about the process. The thing that really struck us, though, is as much as, you know, you hear about crime and you hear about all the problems of Miami, as outsiders do, you know, we see that in the news, uh, there's a sense of hope here. Like, if people do get to talk and, and, and if there's a common plan here, it could be a city of hope. It could be a real model city. But don't be fooled by those sincere words. These guys are here first and foremost to have fun and make fun of our fair city. The term politically correct is simply not in their vocabulary. Our, our work has always been very satirical. We don't leave anyone off the hook. The politically correct people, the right wing, the left wing, we, we mock everyone, you know. So if you're easily offended, I don't recommend this show. <laughs> we're we're EOO, -O, equal opportunity <laughs> offenders. Here's a sample of what they experience in South Florida when looking for directions. And then you ask somebody, excuse me, how do we get to little Haiti? And you're on Calle Ocho, right? Mm -hmm. And you would hear something like that. <laughs> Never mind, forget no. it. I'll find it myself. Yeah. But the guys say people should remember it's a comedy show, not a serious documentary. Satire we do is not mean spirited. It's it's one where you know instead of laughing at somebody, you laugh with somebody. Once you have controversy, you have people talking about it, and basically that's what the show is is to spark dialogue.